so glad you guys are here this morning. Just starting in a nice seated pose and we're just gonna just inhale and exhale. Maybe one of those like inhale, exhale, like I just did that kind of let some of that tension out of your body where it's okay if you actually make a little noise. So you inhale those, and you just exhale. Let's do it again. Inhale and exhale. Now as you inhale, you want to inhale nose. Try to fill your lungs a little higher. Hold the breath for about three seconds. And then push the breath out through your mouth. So we'll do a few more of those. Just inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. We're going to take those hands, reach them up overhead as you do your inhale. And just exhale and bring them right back down. Let's do that again. Fill the lungs as you inhale. Stretch as tall as you can, and as you exhale, drop those shoulders. Feel the flow through that again two more times. Feel your shoulders just like I'm right. Go ahead and take your inhale and your exhale. As you exhale, feel like I'm gently just pressing down on your shoulders, taking out the tension. Do it one more time. Inhale and exhale. All right, this time when you inhale, we're going to keep that right shoulder drop. So, or as you exhale, we will. Inhale. As you exhale, we're going to drop that arm and look over your shoulder right here. Hold the stretch, big stretch. You can breathe through it. And back, right back to the center. Big inhale. Exhale the other way. Opening up the back the chest, the shoulders, do it again. Inhale and exhale, just flow through this. So right here, keep going. Just keep inhaling and exhaling, adding your spinal twist. Inhale, exhale. Waking up that core, inhale and exhale. And on this next inhale, we're going to exhale and just open up the arms behind us. Big stretch. And then round them forward. And open wide and round. We're going to exaggerate that move just like you would if you're in a cat and cow on your knees. So as big as you can go right here. You want to inhale as you open up and exhale as you fold. And inhale as you open and exhale as you fold. Are you squeezing those shoulder blades together? Squeeze them together as you inhale. Squeeze and fold. Okay, on this next one, we're going to inhale, take the hands behind us, place them on the floor, kind of maybe inch them in so they're right behind your butt. Exhale and just stay right here. So maybe you could take your hands behind you and just walk them in a little closer together. Now we're going to take those hands to the ground so your fingertips face back. Let's walk those fingers back a little bit and just feel the difference in the placement. Feel the stretch right here from your shoulders, actually from your chest and your shoulders, all the way down into your fingers. Just inhale and exhale. Now bring it up and just open and close again. Inhale here, exhale here, inhale and exhale. And this time, our next one after we let's inhale. And when you go to your exhale, take those fingers in front. First, we're just going to place your fingers toward, uh, away from your body, toward your camera. Now we're going to turn them over, flip them over, fingers toward your leg. Holding there, flip them over again, fingers towards your body. 
that calms down or maybe not down, maybe just stretching, right? With your heels of your hands may not get to the ground. That's okay. Let's walk through that. So turn them over and over, over and over. So good to work through our wrists, work through our hands, work through stretching out all of our muscles, releasing tension in the nerves right here from all of that computer, texting, any of that stuff we were doing during our day. Keep walking through it and end right here again. Hold that stretch. Inhale, exhale. As you exhale, drop your shoulders, pull them back. Do it one more time. Inhale and exhale. Release it. Take your big inhale over head again. We're going to drop our right arm again this time when we do. Drop the left as well. And it's going to come above the knee outside of the thigh, and you're gonna give a bigger spinal twist right here. So looking further back over your shoulder, back more warm. Let's go through that again. Bring it up, inhale and exhale. Oh, I got a little pop in the back right there. Inhale and exhale, you're just gonna flow through this. How about those shoulders? Are you keeping them long and away from your ears? Keep opening up the body, waking up the body. Inhale, exhale. Feel more. Inhale and exhale. And on the next inhale, we're going to exhale, just come into all fours. So we're going to come into our place of all fours right here. Been working through more of that upper back and shoulders. Now we're going to wake up the lower, the mid, the core, the hips. Let's take some gentle hip circles. So just circling those hips to the right, right here. And circling your hips to the left. All right, bring it back to center. We're gonna do that cat and cow. So inhale as you're in your flex position and try to really flex, really drop the shoulders. And then exhale, push your air out and just flow through this. So you're gonna take it low, dropping at the belly, lifting as high as you can, exaggerate your moves as you flow through this. Because you know that you could just kind of barely go through it, not much would happen. We're really going to bring oxygen into our whole body, into our back, into our muscles. Because, you know, as you move, your body actually has the opportunity to heal. So the oxygen that moves through your body and all the red blood cells start bringing healing to different areas. That's why, like in the old, in the olden days, when I was young, <laughs> It's really true though. If somebody had a back injury, we told them just to go to bed and to lay down, you know, rest, give them painkillers. And thankfully we learned, okay, let's bring it back to the center and we'll do some hip circles to the right. Thankfully we learned that that is not the way to heal. Um, and probably the way to get us addicted to those painkillers, right? But instead, if we will just take short walking movements as much as we can, not sitting, not lying down, but just little walking, you know, walking around your house or whatever. That brings so much more healing to the back um, than lying in bed. All right, let's go the other way. And obviously that's a big area issue problem, but our bodies need healing in so many ways. And so just bringing movement into your body, bringing the oxygen, blood flow all the way through it like we're gonna do this morning is going to heal, start to work and heal some of those areas um, that might be complaining a little bit. All right, now we're going to flow through from a child's pose with, with our arms stretched out as far as they can, not letting the elbows on the ground yet. This is a big stretching, not a relaxing child's pose. So your arms are off, your hands are on, your lower legs are on, and you're reaching as far forward as you can. As you do that, go ahead and let the forehead go to the mouth. Let it drop down right there. Good. But you're still not having your arms cut. So there should be a lot of stretch 
towing on again from your fingers all the way through to your, uh, it could be to your lower back, depending on where your body needs to stretch the most. For me, I always feel this one a lot in my shoulders, and I never realize how tight my shoulders are sometimes until I do this a stretch like this. All right, we're going to bring it right back up and take it into upward dog. If, if your back is not warm enough, go down to your elbows when we come forward instead of your hands. We're going to flow through this. So we're going to take it back, and we're going to take it front. Right here, I want you to inhale. As you push back, I want you to exhale. So you always inhale in your open position and you exhale in your folded position. Just flowing through it. Inhale and exhale. Good. Stretching out that back. When you come to your front position, bring those shoulders down and back. Keep them away from your ears. Okay, one more time and then we're gonna stay in that upward dog. Hold here and see if you can lift your right leg off the ground. Just one leg off the ground and drop it down and the other leg off the ground. So just, your foot is down, just not the leg, right? So your foot is down, leg is up, drop it down. Do the other one, lift, lower, lift. Now, if you're feeling okay, lift both legs. Little tension, pull the shoulders down and back. Nice and strong, lift up high and drop it down, take it back into your child's pose. This time we're gonna relax in the child's pose, just let the palms be on the ground, let the forehead be on the mat. Just take your inhale, exhale, your breath. I'm gonna read us a verse for a day. And this verse is about more of an action on our part. Um, dear children, let us not love with words or speech, but with actions and in truth. First John 3, 18. So today in our, in our practice, I'm gonna give us a challenge to think about someone you could love today um, in action and action love. So maybe so some type of kindness that would be unexpected, um, not loving because they're in your house or something, <laughs> you have to love them, but showing an action verb of love. All right, let's take that right arm, reach it up as high as we can to the ceiling, take it all the way under our armpits, and the right palm is facing the ceiling, Right side of the head is on the mat. Now I want you to be intentional. Kind of inch that arm a little further out and inch that other hand that's overhead a little further. Both of them reaching further away from the body. Again, feeling the stretch. I'm doing lots of shoulder stretching. But right now we're also stretching that lower back in our child's pose. So you just feel the stretch, the lengthening of the spine. Inhale and exhale. All right, we're going to bring that hand over. Take the other one, reach it up. I like to reach up because it opens up the body before you go under. Go under as far as you can. When you get there, maybe add another inch away from the body with both hands. Stretching far. Inhale, exhale. Relaxing into your stretch. Okay, we're gonna come out of that. We're gonna bring those hands back underneath us, come back on all fours, waking up our core a little more. We're gonna do our bird dog. So pull those abs in before you start. Drop your shoulders again down and back. Put a little tension in the glutes, and I want you to lift your right leg back and your left arm in front and stretch them away as far as you can. So picture yourself nice, pretty ballerina right here, right? Point those toes or handsome. 
reach and reach and bring it back. And the other way, reach as far as you can. Now, when you reach, when you reach, what happens in your midsection? Do you start letting those abs go? Pull them back in. All right, let's just alternate through those. Reach and bring it in. And you inhale and you exhale. You inhale as you open, you exhale as you bring it back. Keep going, reach far, bring it back. Stretch back. Okay, we're gonna do one more. And then when we do the next one, we're gonna stay opposite arm of leg, reaching out, and we're gonna do our cross and pull. So elbow to knee, opposite side, reaching again, staying with it. What about it? Give me that inhale stretch. Abs in as you exhale and fold. Reach and crunch and reach and crunch. Bring a little energy into your abs right here. Reach and crunch. Two more. Reach and crunch and reach and crunch. And on the mat, give me a few hip circles. Loosening back up that lower back and go the other direction. All right, pull it back to the center, shoulders down and back, abs in. I want you to lift the other leg, opposite arm, stretch as far as you can, and bring in the crunch. And inhale as you stretch, exhale as you fold. Inhale, stretch, exhale, fold. You got it, reach it out. Good, as you're doing this, try not to let the hips open up. So don't let your back leg rotate, right? Keep the knee facing the ground. There you go, so good. Reach it out, pull it in, two more. Reach it out, pull it in, and reach and pull. Hands down in front of you, coming back into your upward dog. Lifting both legs if you can, nice and strong. Inhale, exhale. Now dropping those knees again. We're gonna actually take our feet together, take our knees apart, feet together, knees apart, and come back into your child's pose again. So stretch as far as you can. This time we're opening up, stretching those hips. I want you to reach your hands as far as you can overhead, then let the forearms go to the mat, let the forehead go to the mat, and just stay right here and inhale and exhale. Have you thought of your person yet? Do you know who you're going to show an action verb of love to today? One more breath right here. Feeling the stretch and the open in the hips. All right, we're gonna start sliding those hands back in toward us. We're not coming up, we're just sliding the hands in. We're gonna sit a little tall, or how are you doing here? Some of you might be good, some of you might not. So you're trying to come up, see if you can just sit back. Some of you that's easy for, if it bothers your knees too much, some of you might need, a, some of you might need just to stay right here. That's fine, if you had a, um, one thing that's always good to have around is a blanket or a pillow in case you need to make an adjustment and like you could put a, you could sit on something that would allow you to sit in this space. But either way, so we're just going to sit here. Now we're going to go back forward one more time. But when we do this this time, so we're going to come forward, we're going to actually take our feet apart. So now you're, um, your knees and your feet are maybe about as wide as your mat. This is not gonna be super comfy, just so you know. <laughs> but I do want your knees to be on your mat, or otherwise it won't be comfy at all. So you're gonna just try to open your hips a little further, knees wide, stretching out those thighs. And maybe some of you, you might have to take your feet even wider, you can kind of play with it. Maybe you could take your, Knees wider, your feet wider, and you could even get to the ground. Different days are different too. Like I, some days can get to the ground, this morning not so much. So that's okay, we're just holding a stretch. It's a nice wide froggy stretch. It's not really very nice, it doesn't feel very nice. 
My knees are wide. My knees are actually wider than the mat. And my feet are right below my knees, right? Yeah. So don't, so you, um, if it's okay with you, don't have your feet tucked in this time. Have them out, like toes pointed out, they're facing out to the side. Yeah, so your knee, your feet are right straight below your knees, not tucked in. Oh yeah, I know. You got some tight hip adductors right here. Just holding our stretch, inhale, exhale. All right, let's come back up to those hands, bring those knees back in. Probably thankful for that, me too. And we're gonna tuck those toes under and shoot ourselves into downward dog. So um, lift your belly, push your butt back and soften your knees and let your head be heavy. We haven't even released that tension officially in the head, so just kind of shake your head no, shake your head yes, but let it be heavy and we'll pedal our feet. Push all the way down and all the way down. Stretching through those calves, all the way through the bottom of the feet. Push and push. Now we're gonna come up high on our tippy toes, reaching forward over our wrists and push back down as far back as you can. Do that again, come up high, maybe almost on the end of your toes and pushing back towards your heels. Doing it again, lifting up high, taking it back, lifting up, and taking it back. Soften the knees again. Just hang right here, take that right leg. I want you to lift it up and kick it back. Hold here, opening up in the hip. Lift it up and bring your knee to your nose. Just like we did on the bird dog. Now we're doing it in our plank. Repeat through it. So inhale right here. Exhale as you crunch in. Inhale back. Exhale crunch. Two more. Inhale back. Exhale crunch. Last one. Inhale back. Exhale crunch. Put that knee down in front of you. So it's right underneath you. It's not going across. It's straight underneath you. Lift up as tall as you can. If it doesn't work for you, then go ahead and just come out and just hold your stretch right here. Maybe too much on some knees. So we're gonna lift up, pull back, hold here. Okay, come slightly forward with those hands and pick that back heel up. Or toe, it's not really your heel. It is your heel, it's your whole lower leg. So just pick it up right here, hold that place. If you feel okay, you're gonna take the opposite hand of that front, of that foot that's lifted and reach back for it. If you have a strap, you can hold the strap. If you can't reach it, it's okay just to be here. We're gonna take it and we're gonna add some resistance right here. So we're gonna push away with our hands and in, um, away with our foot and in with our hands. Ready? So we're gonna push so you really feel that leg firing up and release it. If it's too much on the knee, then just keep it straight back or straight down and just hold this stretch. We don't, or you can take it to the side and just sit. So I don't wanna over stretch, especially that back leg with the knee. One more time, pushing away, pulling in. Feel the fire in that leg and release and pull it in a little closer. Okay, we're gonna release that down and just come to a seated pose, one leg back, one leg in front. Take a big inhale. If this is too tight, just kind of loosen up your legs a little bit. Um, or you may need to go ahead and extend your back leg out. Inhale up, exhale forward, fold. Good place to just rest the back again. Feels good right here. Let's come up again, big inhale. Go through that fold again. So bringing it up, bringing it front. I want you to do two more of those. Inhale as you lift, exhale as you fold. Inhale as you lift, 
exhale as you fold. Now we're all going to take that back leg and just open it up right here. Stretch it out. All right. Take that front leg, rotate it a little bit so it's not going forward, pulling those toes. So they're pretty much lined up. If you were flexing your foot, your toes would be facing the ceiling, right? Pull your abs in, drop your shoulders, take your big inhale. We're going to reach over, same arm toward the same leg, and give a big stretch right here. Oh, yeah, feel that in the all the way through your back, all the way through your side. Inhale up, hands right here. They just kind of cut real over and stretch the other way. Holding here. All right, we're going to take our inhale. We're going to exhale and go right back to it. Inhale. Now, um, reaching, same arm, but this top arm is reaching over. So they're both um, pretty much parallel. We don't have this one out in front. It's right, kind of stay stacked right over the other arm. And reach them up, cartwheel those arms, and reach it back. And bring them back up, cartwheel the arms, and take your breathing as you do it with your um, inhale as you open and your exhale as you fold. So your exhale is going to be as you go into your stretch. Okay, we're trying now to reach a little further each time with the top arm. Take that top arm and reach it uh, further towards your toe and further towards your, the wall behind you or whatever your space is. Okay, on the next one, we're actually going to lift up. When we come out of this one, we're going to lift up our body and just stretch right here, pulling back, pushing your hips forward, lengthening out the body, feeling the stretch. Okay, let's flow through that a few times. Drop it down, right back over, big stretch. Bring it back, lift the hips, press forward. Do it again. Take it over, bring it back, lift the hips, press it forward. Good. Taking it over, bring it back, lift, lift through the back as well. One more time, over, all the way, and we're going to hold our stretch here. Bring awareness to what's happening. Can you stretch that top arm any further? Can you push your back slightly forward at the upper back? Holding here. Inhale, exhale. A lot on the supporting arm, a lot on the stretch. Inhale, exhale, and bring it down. Good. Nice work. Good job. All right, we're going to take those um, hands back down, go back to all fours, give some little hip circles right here, and the other way, and flow through, upward dog, and child's pose again, and upward dog, and child's pose, you got it, upward dog, and child's pose. One more. Upward dog. Child's pose. Now this time when you go into upward dog, we're going to tuck those toes under, go back into downward dog, and lift the belly, soften the knees, push the hips slightly back, and relax those heels. Pedal both feet, push and push. All right, we're going to come up on our toes. This time we're going to drop both feet to the right, just the feet, sides of the feet to the mat. Bring them all the way up. Drop the sides of the feet to the mat on the other side. Bring them up. Now this time when you drop the feet, I want you to drop the hips as well. Bring it right back up. Sides of the feet, drop the hips. Oh, yeah, you might even feel that all the way through your IT band or into your hips, just flowing through it, lifting up, lowering, dropping. Lifting up, lowering, dropping, last time, lifting up, lowering, dropping, lifting up, and pedal those feet. Relax your head. All right, lift that left leg as high as you can. Let it kick back. Open up the hip right here. Feel that stretch. All right, lift it up again. 
Need a note. Press it back. Do it again. Need a note. Press it back. Bring it in. Remember, we inhale as we open, we exhale as we fold, pushing and pushing. One more time, pulling in, pressing back, and bring the left knee under you. Tuck those toes behind you, sit up nice and tall. One side might feel okay, one side might not. Our bodies aren't all the same. Inhale, exhale, drop the shoulders. Now, if you feel okay, just take those hands a little further forward. Lift that back leg. Hold right here. Remember, if you feel the stretch to be too much in your knees, just come off of it and go ahead and have a seat. Or don't grab your foot right here. You could try to grab your foot, and then some of you might be like, oh, no, not today, not grabbing the foot. That's okay. Just be wherever you are. All right, we're going to take our back foot and press against our hand and pull in with the hand. For four, three, two, and relax and pull. If you have a towel or a strap or something, if you're not able to reach, that can be handy. Sometimes you could even hold like your pant leg. You might not be able to give resistance. We don't want to tear your leggings, right? All right, one more time. Ready? Four, three, two, and release it down. Now I'm, we're gonna turn, I'm not gonna actually face the back, but you're just gonna let that back leg fall. There we go. So we're on the other leg. Inhale up, exhale forward, fold. Right over that front knee, kind of the inside of the knee. So you have the stretch happening right inside your body. Let's flow through that a few times. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Do it again. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. And one more time. Big inhale up. Exhale and fold. Good. Just breathe right here. Feel the extra stretch maybe in the lower back of that front leg. Feeling it all the way through that front leg. Also feeling your back stretch, upper and lower. All right, bring it back up all the way. Take that le other leg out. Remember our placement here. So we're gonna have the foot facing up. Good. So we'll not, not rotated forward or back, just straight up right here. Good, and then you can kind of relax the toes. You don't have to do a tight flex. Okay, we're gonna inhale up. And we're going to exhale, same arm, reaching over, trying not to go front with the body, trying to just reach straight over to the side. Good. Part roll those arms, reach over. So we're going side to side right here. Side to side, reaching over, and reaching over. You got it. Going again. Big stretch, reaching over, reaching over. Doing it again. Over. And over, okay, bigger stretch. See if you can go further with that arm, reaching that top arm toward the toe, but without coming forward with the arm, straight over. How far can you reach it? Inhale, exhale, holding that stretch. And when you cartwheel back this next time, you're gonna actually lift the body. All right, let's cartwheel out of it. Lift the body, stretch up tall right here. Taking it down, cartwheeling back, bringing it over, lifting up, taking it down, over, increasing your stretch each time. See how you could deepen it slightly. Maybe you, when you go to your lifted place, you push those hips a little further forward. You lengthen your body on either way. Lengthen the body longer. Make this arm reach further towards the opposite direction, good. Reach and reach. On this next one, we're gonna stay in our lifted, stay in your lifted reach. Push your hips forward, relax the shoulders, but reach the arm as far as you can. So when I say relax the shoulders, you're probably thinking, how can I do that? One supporting, one stretching, but you want to actually take them 
down, keep them away from the ears, and then stretch with the arm. Good, bring it right back down. Whew. Nice work. Take your inhale, take your exhale. Nice work, guys. All right, hands are on the mat right by that front leg. You're going to turn it back. You're going to go into your high plank. We're going to squeeze our glutes and thighs. We're going to do a session without a plank, right? Shoulders down and back, abs lifted, butt and thighs squeeze, knees lifted, heels down and back. Slowly lower down all the way to the ground. Nice and slow. Take the toes under, lift the upper body. Take the legs up, take it into downward dog, push them back, hold in here, letting the head be heavy, soften the knees, lift the hips, push them back, lift the belly. Now we're going to come right back into our front plank, right back into your front plank right here, holding for four and three. And two, and one. Lower down as slow as you can, all the way down. Tuck the toes under, lift it up. Pull the shoulders down and back. Feel good in this place. Back is open, stretch. Take it into child's pose. In the child's pose, we're gonna sway right and left with those shoulders, moving your, keeping your hands flat on the mat. Move your shoulders right and left, and let the head go to the mat. Let the forearms go to the mat. Inhale, exhale. One more time. Inhale, exhale. All right, we're going to, however you want to get there, we're going to take it nice and gently to our back. So we're going to start in a seated pose. So I guess I shouldn't say however you want to get there. We're going to come to our seated place and pick one foot up and then the other. Take it to your boat pose. Keep your shoulders dropped. Good. Extend one leg out and then the other. Little bicycle motion right here, long leg. Leaning back, if you needed to, you could always put those hands down. You look good. We'll go four and three and two and one. Can you keep those um, feet up? Keep your shoulders relaxed and start dropping down nice and low into your low canoe, bringing it all the way down and to your back. Inhale, exhale, pull those feet in for your bridge work. The feet come in nice and close. We're going to lift the hips, squeeze them, and bring them down. And do it again. How about those feet? Let's go ahead and put all 10 toes on the mat. And just plant those feet into the mat. On the next lift, so you're bridging up. When you see if you can clasp your hands, under the back and hold right here. Now we're going to bring our thighs toward each other and apart. There is a lot of tension right now to keep doing that in the glutes and thighs. So lots of fire going on in your glutes, in your quadriceps, in your hamstrings, in your hip adductors. You could even try to put some in your hip abductors. That's the ones that pull away from the body. You'll have to just use your brain to give your tension as you pull out. There's definitely give and tension as you're pulling in. You can make your own resistance as you pull out. And one more time, lifting up and in and out and bring it down. As you bring it down, pull those thighs into the chest. Rock a little right and left. Right and left. Good. We're going to place one foot on the ground, one foot in the air, pulling in nice and close, holding that stretch. Switch legs, other foot on the ground, either one's going to stretch, stretch in your hamstring, pull it in. Switch again, this time lengthen out the legs slightly so it's a 
uh, the opposite foot is a little further from the body. This one comes in a little closer. Do it again, other leg, pulling in. And again, you wanna exhale as you bring it in close to the body. Next time we'll lengthen out that other leg all the way. Inhale, exhale, pull in. You could use your strap in this place if you wanted to, or you can use your hands. Our hands are on our thighs. They're not on our calves. Our calves will want to tighten up. You might feel like you could get a better stretch with them on your calf, but your calf will actually resist. So you're really not. It's, deceive it's deceiving. <laughs> Pull in nice and close right here. Inhale, exhale, increase your stretch and switch. Hand on the thigh, inhale, exhale, pull in, holding here. Yeah, I guess I'm not giving you much chance to use your strap since I keep switching legs on you. <laughs> to be so fast with the switch, right? All right, inhale, exhale, pull in just a little bit closer. Holding that stretch. And we're gonna keep holding that thigh. Take the other ankle, cross it over the knee. Number four stretch, pull right back in. So your body should be so good and warm, ready for these deeper stretches. I want you to pull in, put some energy into your pull. Pulling in nice and close to the body. Taking that, um, if you're holding your left leg, take your right elbow, push your right thigh away. Roll slightly towards the hip of the leg you're holding. Pull that stretch there. I love this stretch because we get to actually stretch in so many different areas. Straighten up that top leg. So it's more of a hamstring stretch. And push away the elbow on the opposite thigh at the same time. My multitasking stretch. <laughs> All right, I want you to bend that knee again, holding here. Now we're gonna take our top foot, the one that's on top, and just bring it over to the ground. Open up those arms, look the opposite direction. Inhale, exhale. And keep the legs crossed just as they are. Maybe you even cross them a little bit deeper, pull them to the other side and look the opposite direction of your knee. Now you were feeling the stretch more in the hips, now you're feeling it more in the back. Let that, if it's too much, just uncross your legs and do the same back stretch. Holding right here. Inhale, exhale, feel the body relax in the stretch. Feel the stretch deepen as you take your exhale. All right, we're gonna bring it back to the center. We're gonna uncross, cross the other ankle over the knee, grab that thigh, pull in close. Now I'm holding my right thigh. I'm gonna roll slightly toward my right hip. Take my left arm, push away on my left thigh. Hold the stretch, deepen the stretch. Maybe roll even more toward the hip of the leg you're holding, pushing away with the opposite. Holding here. Let's take that top leg and just link, extend it out and pull in. So stretching your hamstring, but at the same time, you keep pushing away on the thigh. The so one thigh you're pulling in, one thigh you're pushing away. And bend the knee again. Take that top foot, bring it over to the opposite side. Look the other way, open up right here. Feeling the stretch in the hips. Also in the lower back and bring it all the way over, maybe a tighter cross of the legs as you do. So knees come the one way and head looks the other way.
All right, bringing it back to the center, extend those legs out long. Take your arms overhead, pour your toes towards you. Maybe your heels come off the ground because you have such a big stretch, stretch overhead as far as you can as you release. I want you to pull your, uh, do nice wide goalpost arms and lift your chest off the mat. And then go right back to it. Big stretch pose towards you. Reach and reach. Now relax the feet and open up, lift the chest off the ground as you pull the goalpost arm. So you're, let's do it again. Big stretch overhead as far as you can. Keep the arms by the mat. Start pulling. As you pull the elbows down toward the body, lift the chest. Those look good. Lift the chest and release. Lengthen out the arms. Palms are up. Just bring them by your body. Going to be in our final relaxation pose. Inhale and exhale. We brought awareness to our body and to our minds as we woke up this morning. I'm going to leave us with our verse again. Hopefully you've all thought of somebody that you could do an act of kindness to today. Dear children, let us not love with words or speech, but with actions and in truth. First John 3, 18. Palms are up, bodies relaxed. Inhale and exhale. All right, we're going to gently roll to the side, bend those knees. It's good to take your hands. Uh-oh, feels like a sleepy place to go back to sleep, doesn't it? But we're energized enough. Take those hands, lift yourself up. We're going to go ahead and touch those knees under us, bring ourselves up, come to your feet, ideally without using your hands, and take your big inhale up. Exhale down to your toes. And bring it back up with your final inhale and exhale. Nice job, everyone. So, so good. I love how you stretch. Hopefully, brought some heat to your body. You did such an amazing job. So glad you guys are here. Have a great one.